Zuma Fusion's Frame and Fit Editor is a fantastic place where we can change the size and position of our clips. We can make them larger, make them smaller, we can move them around the page with keyframing, and we can also crop them and add a feathered border. However, did you know that we can also use the Title Editor to create these really interesting visual effects where we're seemingly placing our videos inside different shapes? This masking technique can be used creatively when working with a single video or with multiple videos on screen at once. Usually we see layered video in a standard 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 frame aspect ratio, but by seemingly placing a video into a shape, you can create all sorts of effects. For example, here we see what this person is thinking about in this thought bubble shape. Here we see a snazzy tutorial video where the instructor is on screen in this circle where their slides are playing at the same time. And here we see this competition title card is made a lot more exciting by slowly revealing the prizes underneath. This technique takes a little practice, so please follow along with me at home, pausing the video as you need. In this example, I'm going to recreate this title card for the local garden centre here using just one video clip. Now you can see this video of the flowers is in a circular shape. So firstly, I'm going to place my video on the timeline. This is the video I want inside of my circle shape. Next, I tap the add clip icon here at the bottom of the editor and add an overlay title and make it the length of my clip on the track below using these trimming handles. I'm gonna double tap the layer to enter the title editor. So I'm double tapping on that overlay title. Now I don't want or need this text, so I'm going to tap and delete it here. So now I have a title layer with nothing in it, ready for me to add whatever I like. So first things first, I tap this plus icon to add a shape to my title. This is going to be the shape that I want the video to sit in. So I'm going to choose this circle from the selection here at the top right. And I can resize this how I want. So I'm just going to make it a bit more circular. Now we're eventually going to key this shape out, which will make sense in a minute. So now please change the circle to a beautiful green color. So we're going to shortly use the green screen effect on this. And here we are. Now to add a background layer to our title, I'm now going to add another shape and fill the size of the screen. Now you're going to want to place this behind the circle or the shape you've chosen. So to rearrange the layers, I'm going to close the tabs here on the right and I'm going to drag them into place. So now we can see we've rearranged these and we can see a colored background behind our chosen shape. Now, of course, we can rearrange a shape at any time as we see fit by just simply tapping on the tab on the right and moving it around the screen. The next step is to go to the color and effects editor and tap on the chroma key tab. From here, we tap on the green screen key and we can see that we've now keyed out that green color. And as a result, we can see the layer underneath on our timeline, those lovely flowers in the example we chose. So as you can see, as opposed to what it might look like originally, like we cropped the video of the flowers into a circle, we editors know that this effect is created here by placing it underneath a transparent circle shape, giving the effect that the video is in the shape of the title above. Now, just to neaten this up, if you'd like to ensure a specific part of that video underneath is in the shape itself, double tap on the video layer, so these flowers, and rearrange it in the frame and fit editor as you like. So at this stage, I'm just going to add my text as an additional layer on my timeline. And there we have it, a beautiful title card with an interesting look. Now, if you'd like to have a video like this playing with a video in the background, as opposed to this block color, you will have to export your green shape in the same position on top of the new background layer like this. Notice I've taken the green screen effect off as I want the green to show in the exported file. This is a little bit more complex, so please watch this through before doing it yourself. So I export this and save to my rendered movies folder. So I've exported a video of the background and my green shape on top of it. Then I bring that file back into LumaFusion like so and place it on top of my original chosen video that I was working with before. Now I can key out the green color just like we did before from that top layer and we can see those lovely flowers underneath. So this method, as you can see, takes a little bit of time to get your head around, but it helps to remember that keying out something will always let you see the video below when the clips are stacked on top of each other in the timeline. 
Now, once you've had a go at that, if you would like to recreate this effect with text, please follow along to our text masking tutorial that you'll find in the links below this video. The method for that is very, very similar. So once you get your head around this, you're going to open up a realm of creative possibilities for you. So let us know how you get on in the comments below. And of course, if you have any questions at all, please do contact our support team, or of course, just message us directly. That's all from me for this week, guys. But if you'd like to come along to one of our live training sessions, please do check out our website where new dates have been added. I'll see you soon.